Hey, 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 it's Ultra Sonic, and welcome to the Lampos SMP server. I think it's episode 18 or 19. Heck, I don't know. But anyway, I have a few plans for this episode, and one of them is actually going to be a pretty, a pretty nice thing, because as you might know, I've been living in this pretty bad looking house for a little bit. For like. I think it's been a year now so I've, since I've lived in this, because the server's been around for about a year. And it doesn't look very nice on the outside, the inside. And we have Lord Spawn that everything has to be modern. And this is not modern. But of course, it doesn't have to be modern if it's temporary. But I don't think it's not just temporary anymore since, well, it's been here for a very long time. So I'm going to move out of this house. And I actually have plans to build a new house um, in this episode. And. Anyway, what I was saying is, I have plans to build a new house in this episode, and we should probably get it done by t today, and I hope we do. But first, before we do that, there's one more thing I want to do. I want to make a quick stop at Brute Tin. I want to build another building, because we need to get that build done pretty fast, because the server is going to be reset in another year, and the, the castle is going to take a really, really long time to build, I know, because I want it to be huge. So, I want to get the build done before the castle. So let's go build a blacksmith. So here we are at Bruton and as you see I finished building a blacksmith. It came out pretty nice and I like it a lot actually. It may be one of my favorite buildings in this place. But when I first built it I built it over here and I didn't like it because it was too small so I had to tear it down and redo it. And then when I built it again it was that and then I loved it, but then I had to tear it down again and move it over there because I didn't like where I placed it. So that just took um, about an hour and a half to do. Not too long. Um, but I was kind of hoping this building would be more like a bakery. Because as you might notice, some of the buildings here look alike. Like they all have the same kind of roof, the same kind of type of wood, and the same kind of style. I kind of want each building to look unique in its own way, like not to have all the same features. That's what I tried to do with the bakery, and I think it came out pretty well, but this, it just looks like another copy of these buildings. So I hope the next buildings I make are going to look more something, more of that's more different. Because that's what I really try to do, but I don't really do in this, so I decide this looks okay for now. And here's the little blacksmith. I thought it would be a creative, creative idea to make it attached to a house. And as you may notice, there's fire like two blocks away from wool, and it's not burning down. Which means that I could probably have wood like over here and it won't burn down. I think the reason why it's doing that is because it's surrounded by blocks, even though these iron bars aren't solid blocks, it counts them as solid blocks, so it's not burning anything up, maybe. I could probably do some testing out. And we could see if what we can do to this bakery so it's not so, you know, stony. And it looks a whole lot nicer. Because I like this building except for the stone. If you can fix that, that would be amazing. I forgot to take a tour of the blacksmiths. Here is the um, actual blacksmithing part. And got some armor stands with a sword. Come in here. And yeah, it's a pretty nice place. Not too much decorating. There's just another door to go up here. And there actually is a second level. I don't know what I'm going to do with this level yet. It could be an attic, but maybe another bedroom. I'm not sure what to do with this. I might just leave it empty for now, until I have some ideas. So yeah, now we're going to need to do um, some editing to this place. But first, I just thought of something I need to test out how fire works on a mm. creative world. Alright, there's some testing, and it turns out my little theory is correct. Look at that. It's surrounded by completely oak logs, and it's working. Yes. So what I'm going to do is just build this on the lamp house server, and get that place done. That took way longer than I thought. There still is a lot of stone here. The reason for that is, I noticed that the blocks all the way up here got caught on fire, even though the blocks way down here, which is a lot closer to the fire, didn't get caught. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess I'm not really sure how fire works yet. But, it's a nice experience to go through. But now let's place this a, a little bit better. And now what we're going to do, is we're going to the jungle bomb because we are going to build something there. And that is going to be my new house. Or my temporary house. My actual house around my storage area is going to be the castle. 
but that's going to take a really long time to build. So, while I'm waiting for it, I'm going to move out of spawn and move to the jungle. Just a little quick update. I made the first level of the house. It's not done yet. There's going to be a second level up there. But it's probably over halfway done. And I've done a pretty good job here. I actually built this on Minecraft Park Edition. And now I'm building it on here. That's kind of like what I did in the first house at Bruton. If you saw that episode. I built this actually on Minecraft Park Edition first. And then I just copied it from there. And yeah, there's a little bedroom in here. There's going to be a, a master bedroom on the second level. We have a kitchen, dining room. It's very fancy, very modern. I use the new oak doors because they look very good for these type of buildings. And we have a TV, lamp turns, and yeah, pretty nice building overall. Now the reason why I'm building it here is because, well, it's fancy. And also, if you don't know, which you probably don't, I don't think I ever mentioned this in any of my videos before. But this place is only for the rich to live in. If you are a rich person on the server, then you can gladly live here. And I think I think you consider win rich once you have like, I think, like like two stacks of diamonds maybe, maybe one stack, somewhere around there. And me, I I'm way above the limit. I have almost four stacks of diamonds. Actually, today I had like three stacks, but I had a huge sale on my bookshop with like, someone put in like four diamond blocks and like ten extra diamonds. That gave me a lot today. So now I'm even which over I am before, so I can definitely build here. And yeah, this is a pretty nice house. So now I'm going to go on and start building the second level. As I was transporting my items to my new house, I came across a duplication glitch and accidentally duplicated these items here and also these items. As you can see, two different chests, but they both have the same item, the same amount of damage value with the same name and everything. So these are pretty shitty items because they're duplicated, So, but they're not too important. So I'm just going to probably burn it up or maybe keep the duplicated glitched items in storage somewhere. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe we could just burn it up, but I kind of want to keep it in storage somewhere in my house. Maybe in a safe or something. Not use it, of course. Just have it there. Well, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So let me th let me think about this. I now finished building the entire house, so let me give you a tour of it. First off, um, I have now cats. Because since I'm in the jungle, I saw a lot of ocelots, and I have every type of cat. Um, bobcat, um, carico, and Siamese. This is my new storage room, and it's an unfinished basement, as you can see. I still need more quartz and a few blocks of sand and clay. And right now I have a temporary furnace smelter. I plan on making my super furnace smelter down here. Because that thing is fast. And I decided to keep the duplicated um, glitched items down here. I'm not going to use them at all. I'm just going to stay here because I don't really like them from this lava. Now let's go up here. Up here is the master bedroom. With even more cats. And this is the, the bathroom. The only bathroom in the house. And yeah. That's pretty much it for the tour. Just a little quick progress update. I have started taking down the house. And I just thought to show you this because it looks kind of sad if it half broken. I mean, I spent a long time in this house. And it's kind of sad to see it go away after a while, you know? But anyway, I'm just going to finish the rest of this. I would like to say that my house is now gone. And since we are at spawn right now, why don't I show you a new shop that just came out? It is a ticket pixels, or a, a ticket pix, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, what is it? It's the... Care packages shop. Now here's the instruction book. I I read it a while ago, but that was a long time ago, and I kind of forgot how to do this thing. Okay. Welcome to Ateca Pixes Care Packages. This is a shop where you can pick any chest that includes goodies. Simply so place three diamonds into the payment chest and pick only one chest. The chest you choose is yours. 
if you choose not to accept the goodies, simply leave the goodies back in the chest for the next person. If you want to try again, please repeat the process. Good luck. Do not check the other chest to see what it has. That is cheating. Thank you. Please contact TechPix if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. So, there is no other chest here. Okay. I'll just put one down real quick. Uh, so let's try this. Let's get out start with diamonds. There. That should be enough. Payment chest. And let's pick a chest. That's empty. It didn't say anything about anything being empty, did it? I'm not sure. Are these supposed to be- is everything supposed to be filled? Oh. Okay. I- I'm- I'm an idiot- I'm an idiot and I didn't read the sign. So. Some iron armor and... Survival care package. Uh, should I take this stuff? I'll just leave it for the next person. Uh, I think, I think I'll need, it. Uh, I don't I even know I want to look at the next one. I think that's good enough for now. So let's take this back real quick. And there's another thing that happened to show recently. We upgraded to the 1.8.1 pre-release. And now, the beacon beam is always there, even when you're looking in this way. Because you should be, that when you're not seeing the beacon actual, and you're, like, you're not actually looking at it, the beam disappears, but now that bug seems to be fixed, and there's some bugs that got fixed, and there's also some that got added, like this one. I don't know how this happened, but it did. Oh, Creeper. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news. You know this weather farm that I worked on a while ago, and I spent hours upon hours upon hours building this? I gotta do it all over again. I gotta tear it all down. And the reason for that is because in 1.8, Withers Goldens can no longer spawn in an area that's two and a half blocks. There has to be three solid blocks. So that means I gotta tear this whole thing down. And I think I'm not just gonna tear it down and then make it three blocks tall. I wanna make it like, and I wanna make little platforms. I think maybe this time I should do something a little more efficient than that. I've been thinking I should probably do a like a redstone, a redstone wither farm. Cause I've seen Hummercraft and the Cube have some scenes like that, so why not we have it? And it'll be really efficient and we'll get so many wither scholars. I know it'll probably be a huge project and I might need some help, but I think that I could probably do it. See, there's no wither scholars at all because they can't spawn here. That's really disappointing though. It is now November, so that means we gotta change this exhibit from slime block to something else. That's 1.8. So, I thought maybe I should do some course to it. Cause, because it's a new block in the game, and also there's a few things about it that makes it extraordinary to all the other blocks. So let me tear this down and replace it with that. I'll be with you guys when it's done. I now finished building the room, and there isn't too much about course to it, but it's enough to fit inside this little room. This is the crafting recipe. Coral store can be obtained by crafting it or finding it in certain biomes, such as mesa biomes. And also another interesting mechanic is that coral store can be turned into dirt if you're just likely using a hoe. Like this. And now it's back into dirt. That's that's a nice little mechanic I think they added. And also, it it looks a little bit like dirt. It has a similar texture to it, but it doesn't go into grass, which makes it extremely useful for like plants and gardening when you're building. And that's a very nice block. There. And now since we're in the museum, I thought I should check my payments. There's looking at one else bought a membership. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today's Lampos SP server episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.